In this tutorial, I'll go through how I set up a procedural eye in Maya. This is both for beginners and intermediate artists. I'll share a lot of tips and tricks how I use different nodes here in the hyper hyper shade uh, to create an eye like this over here. And the whole point of this is that it's simply made out of two basic uh, spheres. If I go to wireframe, you can see there are two, two spheres on top of each other. And that's it. The rest is made uh, with nodes. So you can see here there is displacement. Also, if I hide the eye here, you can see it goes in. And I have this main controller here called main ramp, which can you know, change the size of the iris and the pupil. And I'm using Redshift for rendering. Uh, I really like to do look development with the Redshift. The RPR is so fast, as you can see. So it gives like instant feedback on what you're doing. I can change, for example, the color here. Let's change to something different. So maybe I think it's too saturated, so I can try to adjust the colors a bit. Just playing around with the settings. I usually just go for something random to see if I can find a nice result. Let's say I like that. I'll go back here to my main controller. Maybe let's desaturate it a bit. And what if I want to change the color of the eyeball? You can do that as well. Uh, let's say... I don't know. Just playing around here. Something like maybe yellow-greenish. Maybe I want to change this to something warmer. That looks nice. And what if I want to give the whole thing like a blended color on top? That's very easy to do. It's just like in Photoshop can add color and set to try add, for example. Let's see. Try to warm everything up, something like that. Now, of course, I get a little bit of this color inside the pupil. I could simply make a ramp with a mask, which I show you in the tutorial, uh, to, to make the pupil completely black again. Okay. 